Mastercam system attributes are found in the status bar across the bottom. If I want to set an attribute and everything I create after that point will be that attribute, I do it before the creation. So for example, here I have wireframe geometry color. If I want to change that attribute, I just click on it. The color palette will open up and I can choose a new system color. So I'll switch my color from green to blue, number nine. Everything I create from that point forward, so if I create a rectangle, its color will be blue number nine. If I'm creating solids, I can set the solid color here, or if I'm creating a surface, I can set it here. My level manager is here again. Currently, I'm working in level one. If I wish to create a new level, I can enter the number down here and name it. As soon as I create a new level, it becomes the active level. It currently has zero entities on it. I can also turn other levels that aren't the active level and visibility off, and you can notice my geometry disappears. To make a level active, I need to select its number column. So now level 10 is the active level, and I can accept that change. The remaining attributes Point style is set here. Line style we can set here. And line thickness we can set here. When I set an attribute, so if I change my line style to the smallest, I'm setting it for the creation of geometry from this point forward. I'll change the style as well. And now if I create a line, it has these new attributes. I can set multiple attributes by clicking on the attribute key itself. And here I can change the color. I'll switch to pink, number 13. I'll change the line style. I can change the level, my line width, density if I'm creating surfaces. And I accept these changes. So any Thing I create from this point forward has these new attributes. If I ever wish to change an attribute of existing entity, I can right click on the attributes. It will tell me to select the entities I wish to change the attributes of. So I'll select some of my entities and my selection. And here I can tell that I want to change several attributes at once. And I'll move these to a new level 12. The level will be created because it wasn't there before. And they've changed. If I only wish to change the color, then I only select color. And my selection, choose a new color. If I wish to change the line style, I right click on the line style. Sorry, line thickness. And choose my new line thickness for that. So when I do a regular left click on any of the attributes, I'm setting it from that point forward. When I right click on an attribute, I'm telling it I want to change the attributes of existing entities.